So welcome to the long-awaited ribbon-cutting and opening of Vivian C. Millie Bailey Park. My name is Greg Fitchett. I'm the president of Columbia for the Howard Hughes Corporation. And I first want to acknowledge special guests, the most special of whom, of course, is the guest of honor, Ms. Millie Bailey. I will try to keep my gushing to a minimum since there are a number of us here today who will be gushing over you, but I have to say what an honor it is to have you here, Ms. Bailey. You are the epitome, the paradigm, the apex, the definition of service to others. While our country today is still struggling with its 400-year legacy of systemic racism, it was even worse when you were born back in 1918 when Jim Crow laws ruled the land long before the civil rights movement of the 50s and 60s, long before our first black president, and long before here in Howard County, our first black county executive. But in spite of that, you chose to serve your country and your fellow Americans, entering the Army as a young 20-something and quickly becoming the unit commander, starting a life of service that would continue as an executive at the VA and the Social Security Administration and continuing through your uh, retirement, and if anyone deserves air quotes around that word, it would be you, <laughs> with service on the Howard County General Board of Directors, dedicated volunteering at Running Brook Elementary, making care packages for our soldiers overseas, and too many more activities to list. You are an inspiration to me and to everyone here, and with the dedication of this park in your name, you will continue to be an inspiration for generations of children growing up in Columbia and Howard County and playing here at Millie Bailey Park, starting today, including my own two kiddos who I'm gonna bring down here this weekend. And with that, I'm gonna stop my gushing and introduce our other speakers, the first of whom is County Executive Calvin Ball, who will be accepting transfer of Bailey Park from the Howard Hughes Corporation to the county. It is because of the vision of Dr. Ball, now County Executive, but then county council member when the downtown Columbia plan was being crafted, along with his colleagues like council member Mary Kay Sigety, who is here as well, who represented the downtown district, and former county executive Ken Ullman, who saw the need for authentic public space in downtown Columbia. While we have lots of great publicly accessible space throughout downtown Columbia, whether here at the Lakefront Plaza, at Symphony Woods, or the new Colorburst Park in the Meriwether District we just opened this summer, they are all owned by private entities whether Howard Hughes or the Mall or the Columbia Association. With this ceremony today, we are transferring ownership of this land to the public, ensuring there will always be a space in downtown Columbia for people to exercise their rights to peaceably gather and their rights of free speech. In addition to Dr. Ball and former council member Sigety, other elected officials here today include Delegate Jessica Feldmark, Delegate Eric uh, Ebersol, Board of Chair Education, Mavis Ellis, and former County Executive, Liz Bobo. Also making remarks on behalf of Howard County is Raul Delarme, Director of Rec and Parks for the County. Raul, you might say, would be the guardian of this space after today. We also have Columbia Association President and CEO, Milton Matthews, and CA Board of Director Chair, Andy Stack here. Bailey Park adds much to the attractions here at the lakefront, which are owned by CA and the people of Columbia. Milton will be speaking. And Bob Gillette, president of the Howard County's Veterans Foundation, which is working to add a monument here to recognize the service of former and, curner, uh, former and current veterans of Howard County and their families. Following the remarks and transfer of the property, we will have a ribbon cutting and at long last officially open this park, Millie Bailey Park, truly a park for all people. And now I'd like to welcome County Executive Dr. Calvin Ball. Thank you so much, Greg, and welcome to everyone. Today we find ourselves at the intersection of a global pandemic and health crisis, the likes of which we haven't seen since 1918. A fiscal crisis, the likes of which we haven't seen since the 1930s. And a critical conversation about race and equity, the likes of which we haven't seen since the 1960s. It is quite befitting 
that at this time, in this moment, on these grounds, that we are opening Millie Bailey Park. A place such as Columbia that is known for diversity, inclusion, and opportunity. And having a representative of our greatest generation, someone who not only has served as a hero for our country, but just a hero for many little kids and young people at Running Brook who may not have even known the stature of the giant of an icon who we have here today. It is befitting that as we fight this global health crisis, the likes of which we haven't seen since 1918, we are honoring a hero who was brought to us in 1918. And as we open this park, this public park, where all of our children for current and future generations will play, I am so excited that they will think about coming together. They will think about the unity that we are exemplifying here. And they will think about a great hero whose legacy will reverberate throughout time. Now, it is important that we talk about the wonderful works of Millie Bailey. But I also think, as I look across this crowd, that we think about the person who we all know, we all admire, but frankly, who we all love. We salute you, Millie. We appreciate all that you have done for our county, our community, and frankly, for each of our lives. Godspeed. This is indeed a very incredible honor. I want to thank all of you who are here. I never would have imagined that I would receive such a such prestigious recognition. I'm happy that I've been able to do the things that I have done, to serve the things that I have done in the community and in the state. Again, I appreciate your being here. Thank you so much. Oh, and also, I do want to thank all the people who were involved in deciding to name the park for me. I would greatly like to thank them. Um, I remember the groundbreaking ceremony for this park uh, back in June of 2019. And at that time, there was standing room only. What a great crowd we have here today to actually cut the ribbon for Ms. Bailey. I want to thank Howard Hughes uh, and their team for including our department in the design and construction process. As Greg said, it was a great, good partnership. I would like to thank a few people that had their hands in this project. Paul Walski, Jason Thompson, John Marshall, Bob Lenz, and our park staff uh, from my department. And a big shout out and thank you to the Howard County Striders for donating the water fountain, which is right behind me. Also a few contractors who did some last minute work for us, North American Millwright, Sparks of Play, and Eddie's Welding. This park is in, a such, in such a beautiful location here on the lakefront with a Lake Kitamakande as its backdrop. Upon Howard Hughes transferring ownership of this park to the county this morning, this park will become a public facility for all the citizens and visitors of Howard County. I would like to take this moment to personally thank Ms. Bailey for your service to our country and to our community. In a past interview, Ms. Bailey stated that at an early age, her mother instilled in her the passion to volunteer and give back to the community and to the country. She has been doing this in many ways, especially for the local school age children and our soldiers. Over the years, Ms. Bailey has been sending care packages to the soldiers and raising money for school age children to take field trips. Now children can take field trips to visit this beautiful park that, which is gonna be named after her. It is such an honor for me to accept this park into our park inventory 
especially being named after this gracious person and role model, Ms. Vivian C. Bailey. Thank you. I guess it, I'm, at, I, I'm waiting the last, Ms. Bailey, the, to, to give my appreciation to you, but I, I, the first thing I want to do, I just want to acknowledge, I saw the video of you skydiving. <laughs> <clears throat> and, <laughs> and I have to tell you that you were one of my idols before then, and, and I, but after that, I'm searching for new words to describe my admiration for you. <laughs> but I grew up on the water. I grew up on the eastern shore of Virginia with the Atlantic Ocean on the east and the Chesapeake Bay on the west and many creeks in between. So I have a great affinity for water. And since coming to the Columbia community, the downtown lakefront has become a special place for me. Just as is a special place for the residents of, of the Columbia community and others in Howard County. As, a, uh, as the downtown lakefront continues to evolve, incorporating the existing redevelopment projects and those planned for the future, the area will become a point of destination for the region and locally continue to grow in reputation as a sense of place, special and unique with a real human attachment and belonging. As stated by Greg, Columbia Association has a major presence on the downtown lakefront. And whether it's a member of our board of directors or team members from the open space division, there's a passion and care for this setting. On behalf of all of us at the Columbia Association, we welcome the addition of Bailey Park to the downtown lakefront. I want to commend the partnerships that brought, this, uh, brought about this park. And as I said early, Ms. Billy, I don't know what to say about you. I, I grew up uh, with a lot of veterans in my family going back to World War II, and they left an indelible mark on me, and, and that's what I can say about you. you. I've been here for seven years, and you've been very active the entire time that I've been here, and you're, you're, you have put an indelible mark on me, and you're greatly valued in this community. So congratulations. You know, this, this tract of land that we're standing on, this 26,000 square foot parcel, has sat virtually untouched for 50 years. And it's now a visual reminder of how one individual can change the world. For its namesake, we've chosen a remarkable woman who by her very life story of serving others has inspired so many of us to, to do more, including the next generation of community leaders our children. This park is a beacon. It's calling us to come together as a community and give thanks to celebrate for those that have put their own lives on hold and, and gone out in service of others. But let me tell you the story of how this park got its name. You know, I recall having conversations early on with, with Greg and, and uh, Milton and others as we were putting together this, this concept for a veterans uh, monument or a memorial here in Columbia. And when we decided upon this site and I met with, with Linda Locasio and Carol Dooley and, and the entire Howard Hughes design team at the Reckon Parks building and they presented the preliminary plan for this park. And as I, as I heard the description of what was going to be here, it dawned on me this park needs a name. And the only name that it should be is Millie Bailey. And that's why the, the Veterans Foundation was proud to lead the charge in naming this park for you, Millie. So it is my hope that this park and this, this monument, which the park is open, but the work's not complete. Um, we still have one major effort, one last hurdle to climb to bring this park to its final vision. And that is the installment of the Howard County Veterans Monument up on the hill behind me in the open space. You know, that, that monument in this park is a space for everyone, regardless of any direct connection to the military, to the Howard County or Columbia community or the Bailey family. This, this park is a place for everyone to sit, reflect, be inspired by the life story of First Lieutenant Vivian Mildred Corbett Bailey and that of every veteran 
and military family among us. And on that note, I would be remiss if I did not share some, some very exciting news about Colombia's most popular centenarian. Practically the world's most popular right now, from what I understand. You're, you're, you've gone viral, and not in a COVID sense, a good sense. Um, on November 11th, which is Veterans Day, Miss Millie will be the feature subject of a special program on the television series Honor Flight Heroes, which will air nationally on Veterans Day at 7 p.m. on Discovery Network's American Heroes channel. The episode will tell the story of Millie's incredible life, her many, many accomplishments, and allow Millie to clear up some of the misinformation that has been spread about her on social media. None of it bad, just not entirely accurate. And as Milton mentioned, Miss Millie went skydiving recently. It was a thrill to be there and watch you make your jump. And much like Milton, I, I'm in awe. Um, now, I prefer to keep my takeoff and landings you know, at the same count. But I promise you this, when I'm 102, if I have not gone skydiving, you can tell Cornelius he can push me out of the plane. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Bailey's great adventure this past Sunday didn't just capture my attention and yours, it captured the attention of none other than Miss Millie's, as well as many of our own personal heroes, former First Lady Michelle Obama, who sent Millie a lovely note congratulating her on, on her jump, and I, I just thought it would be remiss to not point out that we'll, we'll get you to meet her, I, I promise. <laughs> I'll work on that for you. Um, and, and last, you know, just kind of building off of what, what Dr. Ball was saying earlier with, with the current climate, I'm going to take a moment of privilege here. You need to vote. We need to vote, people. Like your life depends on it, because it really does. And if you're like me and you know people who are sort of apathetic and they don't know what to do and they're throwing their hands up, bring them here. Bring them to this park point to the name on that sign and say, when she turned 18, she wasn't allowed to vote. There were a lot of people that looked a lot like me that worked really hard to prevent people that looked like her from voting, and it's time to change that. So you make sure you get your friends to the polls. So, And with that, I have one last thing to say, and it's actually a, a presentation I'm going to make. Um, in memory of your tremendous achievement this past Sunday, Pam Long has made a gift for you. And Greg from the Veterans Commission is going to share that with you. I'm sure you don't need a lot of memories of that jump. You will never forget your jump. And I know in your heart, like all of us, when we jumped out of airplanes, you were screaming, Airborne! <laughs> So congratulations again. Thank you for the inspiration that you are to all of us and our community. Thank you, Milton, and thank you, Bob. And thank you, Bob, especially for um, you know, going a little political, which is the intent of this space. This is supposed to be a free speech zone, and it's a very fitting way to kick off uh, Millie Bailey Park opening to the public with some uh, impassioned public speech. So thank you. And now, uh, I'm going to actually make this a public park. And let's, uh, if, if Dr. Ball, if you would join me over at the uh, signing table there. <laughs> All right, official. <laughs> now I think next up is cutting the ribbon. Two, one. Yeah.